and welcome to another support video from Instrument Choice. In this video we will show you how to set up the pH buffer selection and how to calibrate the EC-PH Tester 20. So let's get started. If it's the first time using this device or you'd like to change, you can select between USA and NIST buffer set standards. USA buffers are pH 4.01, pH 7 and pH 10.01. NIST buffers are pH 4.01, 6.86 and 9.18. To enter the buffer selection menu, start with the device off. Hold down the hold slash ENT button, then press the on off button quickly. Release the hold slash ENT button and the screen will appear with USA or NIST flashing and BUF at the bottom. Press the CAL button to toggle between selections. To confirm your selection, press HOLD slash ENT. Next is to calibrate. First, remove the cap and turn the device on. We have UR appearing on the screen as the electrode is not in contact with any solution. We will perform a two-point calibration using the USA buffer set selection. So we are using pH 4 and pH 7. The link to view these buffers is in the description. The third beaker is distilled water for rinsing. To calibrate, dip the electrode in about 2-3 to three centimeters of the standard buffer solution and press the CAL button. The upper display is the measured reading and the lower reading will indicate the buffer solution. Here we are calibrating to pH 7. Wait about 2 minutes for the reading to stabilise, then press hold slash ENT to confirm. Once confirmed, the lower display will search for the next buffer solution. See it alternating between pH 4 and pH 10. Give the electrode a quick rinse in distilled water and place into the next buffer solution. In this example we are using pH 4. As you can see, pH 4 is automatically detected. Wait about 2 minutes for the reading to stabilise, then press hold slash ENT to confirm. To perform a third calibration point, simply rinse in distilled water and place into the next solution. However, as we are performing a 2 point calibration, you can exit calibration mode by pressing CAL. This will return the device back to normal measurement mode then after a rinse it's ready to use. We hope that you found this video helpful. Remember if you need any help or have any questions, contact one of our scientists. Contact details are in the description. Thanks for watching.